Hey guys, welcome to another video at Swivel's Garage. Today we're gonna install the S&B intake on my 2023 Raptor R. I'm making this video to save you guys maybe time and money on buying it because the only reason I'm buying it is to try to make the supercharger whine a little louder. If you own one of these, you know that it's not very loud until you get to like 60 when you're floored. Driving normal, you hardly hear it. So I bought the intake. We're going to install it, do some sound clips, and see if it makes it louder or if it stays the same. So stay tuned. Let's get this thing installed and hear these clips. All right, the first uh, thing I'm going to do is light acceleration, about half throttle, so you guys can hear that you don't hear any supercharger. That was probably like 20% throttle, but we'll do half throttle up here and then we'll do a full throttle. This is still the stock intake to make that clear. And then we're gonna do the next scene will be with the intake, same throttle percentage to get the difference on everything. All right guys, this is with the intake, 25% throttle. Fifty percent throttle. All right, guys, it's gonna be like forty percent throttle, maybe fifty. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not beating on this, so you can watch the speedo, but I'm leaving it in normal mode. It's what I usually drive in. I basically bought this intake just for noise, so it's kind of what we're going for here. All right, here we go. All right, guys, we're going to do one more pull with the stock intake just for good measures here, so here we go. Oh, you like don't hear the stock blower like not even a little bit it's kind of annoying so let's hope this intake will do something all this blower testing got a man hungry bro yeah buddy all right guys you've seen all the befores and afters now it's time to install the intake but one last thing we're going to do is uh rev with the hood open and shut so you can hear both before I install the, the new intake. So we're gonna do that right now. I also took draggy times. I know it all depends on road conditions, spinning and everything, but I just did it for fun. So I'll send the screenshots at the end of the video before the intake and after. And also I've never used the draggy till today. So all I have is like a screenshot at zero to 60. So that's what we're gonna do. And maybe the eighth mile, I let off pretty early cause it's pretty busy out. So. I'll post those at the end of the video, so stay tuned. open this beast obviously I already cut it so you guys didn't have to see that but here we are holy cow <laughs> look at this filter massive then you get the housing plexiglass seal 
plexiglass comes covered up so you don't get scratched. Pretty sweet. Let's get this thing installed. Larry, come here. Here's everything that comes in the box, guys. Looks like uh, the new Ram Air, an extension harness, some zip ties, some fittings, coupler. Should be pretty easy, I'm pretty sure. No instructions, so it's, oh, I guess there is over here. Forgot this piece, but should be pretty easy, I think. Probably won't need instructions. So I'm gonna start ripping this apart and we'll see what happens. Guys, I just got the intake lid off the stock one. I've never looked at. Oh my gosh. I'm like laughing right now. Look how small that is. <laughs> what the hell? I understand the new one is excessively big, but this is tiny. Like, geez. All right, guys, I had to do this. Everything is super simple to get off except this. There is a special tool, but I got away with this quick connect blue one. I got it in there and had to pry it open. There's these stupid clips here. Straight retarded. I don't know why they got rid of the old easy push quick connects and got this, but that is the only hard part that I ran into. There is a special tool you can order. So if you order this intake, just get the tool right away and make it simple. But yeah, we got everything off. You gotta see the difference here. Obviously, whatever the throttle body sucks is the most you can get, but look at that, dude. Like, wow crazy all right let's keep going well guys we got it on uh, it's a pretty simple install i watched the video on youtube on how to do it just because there's a lot of pieces but it's pretty easy it's just time consuming it took me 45 minutes that tool comes in the kit i didn't see that until i messed with it for a while but it's it came with the kit it's somewhere in here i was kind of crabbing I went flying yeah it's right here Right there. So, scratch that, what I said before, it's in. We're about to do some rev ups and then I'm going home. Well, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. I hope that it answered your question about the SMB intake, if it makes it louder or not. You guys can be the judge of that. In my opinion, it did it just a little bit, but not a lot. And uh, it's up to you guys if you buy it. It's not a sponsored ad or anything. I'm just making this video to help you guys out. I wish I seen a video before I bought it, but like I said, it did a little bit. Some other people said if you pull the, pull the plexiglass off the top, it makes it even louder, but I just haven't did that yet. So I might try it. I don't know yet, but like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one.